I have six polishes from Swiss company Mavala from the Dash and Splash collection. Let's take a look. <laughs> First up is Psychedelic Lime. Uh, it's more of a yellowy lime than a limey yellow, if that makes any sense. It has got a little bit of shimmer running through it. I find this one was quite tricky to put on. It's quite stripy and I think that um, shimmer pigment that's in it gives it a little bit of a chalky texture. However, it did go on well in two coats and it did level out really nicely. The shimmer is much more apparent in the bottle than it is on the nail. I had to try really hard to capture it in a, in a picture, which I did do on the close-up. But both of these, I'd say the shimmer is more apparent in the bottle. The next colour is Naive Mint and that's a pretty good description because it is a very light hint of tint. The shimmer I tried to capture in a still picture is really not apparent on your nail. Uh, it is in the bottle and it does look pretty in the bottle but it really doesn't show up when you paint it on. It is a very pastel, slightly greyish toned mint. There's a lovely cool summer colour seen in two coats here with a glossy top coat for my pictures. Though some people aren't fond of little mini bottles, especially when they're quite expensive, like these are. Um, I, I really like mini bottles. I don't like spending money on a big polish and finding I never use it after one painting session. I'm not keen on these brushes though, particularly on these first two polishes which had a thicker formula. I did find that it dragged off more polish than it was putting on and I kept running out of uh, colour and had to keep re-dipping it back into the, the pot. I keep saying it, they do level out really well, so that stripiness that looks bad in the first coat really is gone in the second. These polishes are 11 free and cruelty free. This colour is a vibrant turquoise. Um, it's a bit difficult to show on the camera because it does look quite grey-blue here. Um, at least it does in my tiny editing window. So what I've done is insert a picture of the bottle, which I think is a slightly more accurate description. I'd say it was more of a dusky turquoise. This and the next polish have the same creamy formula. They're um, similar to the first two except without that shimmer pigment so the flow of the polish is a little bit nicer on the nail. The self-leveling qualities of these polishes is really good. You can see here that it just smooths out into a nice gloss so there was no need to use a glossy top coat for my pictures which were taken with LED white lights as opposed to the video swatch which was in slightly overcast natural light. This is magnetic purple, the same smooth creamy formula of the previous polish. It went on very nicely in the first coat and no real stripes or issues putting it on and I think the thinner formula works better with these brushes. You might be able to get away with one coat for both of these last polishes. I did use two for this and the pictures and no glossy top coat because it dried to a lovely finish. This collection as a whole was inspired by the 2019 take on 1980s graphic bright catwalk colours. This is Fancy Pink. It's a nice bright pink. These last two polishes have a much thinner formula, probably need between two and three coats to make them fully opaque. Very glossy, very smooth to put onto the nail and this formula does work better with these brushes. I didn't have any problems in application on this or the last colour. 
two coats. No glossy top coat needed because it dried to a lovely high shine. You'd only really need one if you intended to get maximum wear out of it. The last polish from this collection is Versatile Red and I think it is versatile, it's not too much of any one thing and it really does glide onto the nail beautifully, again it has that nice thinnish glossy formula, it's like a proper old fashioned nail lacquer this one and it dries to a lovely shine again so I haven't used a gloss for the pictures. Overall, I really like this colour collection. I wouldn't quite call them explosive colour, like Marvala do on their website. Neo Couture 80s, maybe? I'll leave you with that thought. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like notifications of my latest videos. See you next time.